By request, today we're going to be doing a simple dialogue. So this is something called Bark, which means that it's not a full conversation. You walk by something, an object, or an NPC, and it will pop up and give you some kind of information, or something that's important, or maybe something that's not. All links for this tutorial and all tutorials will be in the description. Let's get started. The only thing we're going to use that didn't come with Platformer Project is the NPC. And that I used uh, Pilato Studios, Cute Hovering Companions. I really like these things. Kind of reminds me of Zelda. So I'm just going to randomly pick one of these little guys and put him in the scene. And he's upside down. So let's change him. There we go. So he is going to be our little conversation buddy. Okay. Right now he's just a visual. Uh, he's completely empty. He has no scripts or anything on him. But we're going to change that. So I'm going to unpack him so I don't mess up anything else. And the script that we're going to use to make him talk is already in the scene. It's right here on this post. It's called Sign. This comes with the platformer project. And we're going to basically use that to make ourselves a makeshift bark or dialogue for this NPC. For those who have not opened or have not bought platformer project yet, let me show you how that looks on the sign. We're going to change it to make it look like what we want. So if you go over the sign and hit the trigger, you're going to see that it, uh, you know, pops up a little dialog box. OK, and you walk away and the dialog box goes away. But we're going to make some changes to that so that it looks like the dialogue we want. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is if we look at that sign, we're going to see that there's a canvas and there's also a text UI. Oh, the other thing too is if you notice that this sign has a collider trigger. OK, so let's put the same thing on our guy. So let's come over here and put a collider trigger. So we'll put a capsule collider, we'll make it a trigger, and let's make it a little bit bigger. Let me open this up so you can see it. See the little thing right there? Then we're going to add the sign script. All right, so it's going to come with some basic settings on it. Um, first, let's change what it says. Hey, bro, go that way. OK, so it's just going to be barking this information at us. It's not going to be a conversation. But now we need a canvas and uh, a text UI. So I'm going to go ahead and put this inside him. So if I right click on the orb, uh, on our NPC and I come down here to UI, um, you're going to see Text Mesh Pro, but you'll notice that there is no text. The old style text is gone as of 2021 and 2022. So we're actually going to have to change this once we start it because this script that comes with Platformer Project only works with a text. See, it says here text. So Text Mesh Pro won't work. So we're just going to switch this backwards. So we're going to take out the TMP just so we remember what we did. And then I'm going to delete this Text Mesh Pro uh, component. I'm going to add a text component. So now this is text, not Text Mesh Pro. And if I go back to our script and I drag in uh, canvas to canvas and text to text, you'll see that it works now. OK, now to make sure that we can actually see this uh, text, we're going to put in a placeholder. So we're just going to write text. So the first problem we have is we're looking at a little guy. We don't see any of this canvas. We don't see the text. Where, where is it at? Well, when you make a canvas originally, it's going to be full size. See how gigantic this is? And our little guy is way down there. So we need to make this canvas fit into our guy. So how are we going to do that? Well, just like this sign, the text pops up and it uh, it's attached to the sign. So what do we call that is world space. And then you see that it wants the camera. So if we open up the camera and we drop the main camera, not not the player camera, the main camera into this, we need to make this canvas smaller. And I'm going to change this to 0 0.05. So if you notice now when we look at this canvas, this canvas is much smaller. I'm also going to move it to inside our character. So 0, 0, 0. And now if we look at it, it's it's actually going to be centered with the character, but it's still a little bit big. So our width and our height is here. So let's change this to 125. And that's about the size of a text box that we can read. Um, the other problem is, is our text is bigger <laughs> than our box. Um, so there's a couple ways we can fix this. Center the text. It's here. Then we're going to go down here. We're going to tell it best fit. So we're going to say we don't want the text any smaller than 10, but we don't want any bigger than 40. And then we're going to come here while the text box is selected and select this little square thing with the four not the four points. And that is how you adjust. So I can shrink this down to fit the um, the canvas that we created. Now we want to adjust this canvas so it's in the right spot. So we're going to select our move tool and make sure the canvas is selected, not the text. And we're going to move it up so it's above his head. Now we have our trigger. We have our script. 
right? We have our trigger, we have our script, and we have our canvas and our text, and that is both in our script. So now if we walk up here, we should see that dialog above the head of our NPC. Boom, there it is. But it looks a little bit blurry, right? So how do we how do we fix that? Well, we can come here and we go back to our text and we can't mess around with Arial because it's actually part of uh, it comes with uh, um, with Unity, but we can pick something else. So let's just let's just pick any any font. It doesn't matter. You can use any font you want. Then we're going to select the font so we can find it. Click the font so that it shows up in the inspector and we're going to change some numbers. We're going to change from 16 to 300 and change it from uh, dynamic to Unicode and hit apply. Now look how crisp that text is. Let's walk over to the little guy and boom, there we go. We got dialogue, except there is a small problem. You see that it's cutting off the dialogue. Uh, it's because the dialogue is bigger than the box and uh, we can't see the wrap. It's going underneath. So we can fix that easily. Let's come over here and change our font size to 10. And you see where it says minimum size and max size. Let's change this. Let's say this minimum size is five. That way it doesn't get so small people can't see it. And let's hit play and give it a try again. Walk over there, and boom, there we go. Now we can see it, except it's uh, it needs a background so we can see it, you know, just in case the level is a little bit bright. Let's come back over to our canvas, right click UI, and add an image. Now, this image is going to be behind the text, so the way that the canvas works is whatever's on top is in the back, whatever is on the bottom is in the front. So let's move this image on top of the text, so this way the text is on front. You can't tell right now, but let's change that image. Uh, to a dark color and you can see the text now. I'm also gonna make the go down to the alpha here Which is the red green blue alpha and I'm going to bring it down So it's a slightly translucent and now we can see that but the problem is the box is bigger than our text box So let's just click on the image click on this little adjuster and come down here now you want to make it slightly bigger than the box on the sides so that the uh, box or the coloring behind the lettering doesn't, uh, um, the text doesn't go edge to edge. You can actually do this in the text itself in the padding. So you see here it says left, bottom, right, top. Well, if you come here and you put a little bit of padding on here, say that we put uh, uh, five on one side and five, well, let's just put five on all of them. All right. So this makes sure that the text doesn't go all the way to the edge. The other way is you can just take the image itself and then put it, make it longer or bigger than the text box. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have now. All right, let's go over and look at him. And there it is, it works perfect. And now we can see it everywhere. And if you walk away, it goes away. Once again, this sign script is built into a uh, platform or project, so there's nothing you need to add. Uh, you can use whatever you want for your NPCs. In this case, I used another character, but you, you, this could be on a box or a button to tell people what it's for. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make a cutscene with different cameras and different dialogue between the player and the NPC, and how to disable the controller and re-enable the controller after the dialogue is done. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments below. And if you have any requests for future tutorials, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe.